Hello, I'm Nick Quinn and welcome to the latest Sky Racing News. All eyes will be on Kimono on Saturday as he contests the Bobby Lewis Stakes and potentially earns the right to run in the Tab Everest. Max Whitby identified Kimono as one of the runners still in the hunt for their slot. Him alongside Neil Werrett hold the one remaining slot and other runners mentioned include Le Romain and Chautauqua. Kimono only managed to run seventh in his Australian debut but is still in the hunt. Sticking with Tab Everest news, the ATC is expected to confirm Nature Strip as their runner for the world's richest turf race on Tuesday. Defending champion Happy Clapper is on track to go back-to-back in the Tab Epsom handicap. Happy Clapper heads to Flemington on Saturday to contest the Group 1 Maccabi Diva Stakes and will be ridden by Mark Zara. Happy Clapper has been allocated top waves for the Tab Epsom and will be ridden by Zara on Saturday before returning to Sydney on Sunday. Happy Clapper right in the hunt there for the Epsom at $11. The Waterhouse Bot Stable have a two-pronged attack in the shorts with their two runners for the Tab Everest Stakes potentially going on and defeating Red Zell, who won the race last year. In what is promising to be an Everest trial, Adrian Bott said that Invincible Star had made good improvements since running third behind Short's favourite Red Zell in the Concord Stakes. The stable is also upbeat about English, who will kick off her campaign in the Shorts. English returned to her best, winning the Group 1 Doombin 10,000 on May 12 and finished sixth in the inaugural Everest. The Autumn Sun is heading to the Golden Rose and will be ridden by Karen McAvoy in the race. The Autumn Sun tasted defeat on a racetrack for the first time last Saturday when finishing a luckless third in the Stan Fox Stakes. Trainer Chris Wallace said that the cold had pulled up well and the Caulfield Guineas and potentially the Victorian Derbys are possibilities for him this campaign. Michael Walker is desperate to repay trainer Mick Price and loyal connections with Fighting Harada going to Flemington on Saturday. Walker has ridden Fighting Harada in both runs this campaign and if he hadn't had bad luck he wouldn't have had any luck at all. Walker anticipates that the horse will be suited by the spacious Flemington Strait and is hoping for a change of luck. Walker also takes the rides on last start winners Pure Elation and coming through at Flemington on Saturday and both runners are very prominent in the market. Well trainer Gary Moore is always an interesting character and he's got a very fascinating runner at Randwick on Saturday. A first starter who's had no less than five barrier trials, including this very impressive win on August 20. Host win Supreme does head to the race to take on the listed Heritage Stakes and was described by Moore as a very exciting colt. Might be one to watch with a bit of interest. Well, it promises to be a massive weekend of racing. To keep your finger on the pulse for all the latest racing news, make sure you check out our website or follow us on social media.